An early morning to you folks. Sitting on the block, doing what I do. Minding my motherfucking business. Something these motherfuckers out here know nothing about. Motherfuckers walk up to me and start telling shit. Fucking this got out of my car. Oh, your girl's son, he out of control, this and that. I don't want to hear that bullshit. The motherfucker out in the streets like you, sorry, motherfuckers. Y'all mad? Oh, yeah, he, he out there trying to rob people and doing this and that. Oh, same shit y'all do. But y'all ain't got no guts. Y'all rob a motherfucking addict, motherfucking with you for $8 and shit like that. He got the ball to go to the source. Fuck you, grimy ass drug dealers. Fuck you gonna rob some motherfucker for ten dollars when he can get the whole package and money. Respect, you punk ass motherfuckers. The next grown man to come up to me and tell me something about him, I'ma pop him upside their motherfucking head. Excuse me. They act like they care, you know. Fuck out of here. <clears throat> you motherfuckers been out for decades. He's new at this shit. If he live long enough, he'll figure it out. There's consequences to this shit. You know, can't be taking shit out for people. Eventually, some motherfucker gonna get you. You end up dead or in prison. What I'm supposed to do about it? The boy, 20 years old, he run around out here. He don't have nobody in his mind. Mama dead. Grandparents are dead. Siblings don't give a shit about him. He has me and my kids, and he knows. He's been there. He knows. You get overwhelmed, you know where we're at. Get him some rest, eat. He's done it. <sighs> you motherfuckers call yourself telling. <laughs> y'all telling me, y'all telling the, the drug dealers, then the police. The fuck away from me with the dumb shit. This is the streets. Like I said, I don't give a fuck about no grimy ass motherfucking drug dealer. Uh, Y'all killing motherfuckers. Putting fentanyl on crack and all that, you punk motherfuckers. Uh, you know, got no goddamn conscience for none of you motherfuckers. Yeah. I asked the boy, do he got a gun? He told me, yeah. So my mind's at ease. Uh, you know, can't be out here doing dirt and ain't got no goddamn pistol. You gotta be able to defend yourself. I don't give a fuck what you done. You don't let no motherfucker do nothing to you. Yeah, I told him that. I wouldn't give a fuck. You're dead wrong. Fuck them. You make it right. You know, all that, uh, I'm getting you and all that. No. You know, shit, when I was 20 years old, some of the shit I was involved in make him look like a fucking choir boy. You know, I figured it out, though. With the help of God, you know. I didn't have to go away to prison for 15 to 20 years and no shit to figure, figure it out. I got them goddamn bullets in my ass, you know. Yeah. That had a lot to do with it. That wasn't why. Shit, I got married and started having babies. That's when my whole demeanor changed about this shit we call life. Shit. Being married, having a good woman. You didn't give up on me. It's what helped turn me around. But I'm the same motherfucker. I just choose to chill at this stage of my life.
for the motherfucker choose peace don't mean that they're not capable of war. Yeah, I choose peace. Should I feel sorry for the man, the young man. I can't do nothing for him. What am I supposed to do? Beat him up and grab him and tell him to stop? Them days is over. Mm-hmm. Shit ain't no goddamn game. I pray for the boy. It's like I pray for everyone else. You motherfuckers ain't gonna do shit to him. Huh. <laughs> If you, if, you, if you jump on him, you better you better kill him. Cause if you don't, he he coming back for you. He's been around me, and if he don't get your motherfucking ass, you think you gonna do something to him and be out here on these streets? I don't think so. I get in no trouble about myself. You know, I ain't getting in no trouble about nobody else. But two or three of you motherfuckers jump on him and hurt him real bad and don't kill him. Shit. Vengeance. Unravel. Unleash the vengeance. And all the anger and hurt that's built up in the motherfucker. And I don't like you motherfuckers anyway. Fake ass motherfuckers. Oh, he's up in some motherfuckers face. Can I? Give me. You know. There's only a few out here that actually care about me. The rest of you motherfuckers is, is what you can get out of a motherfucker. And I see right through that shit. And I help who I choose to help when I can. Random strangers. I'll help but for some of you motherfuckers I knew all my life. It's my choice. I'm, I'm sick. I had a $5 uh, sports bet ticket for nine baseball games. Sad ass Chicago White Sox and sad ass Kansas City Royals. Killed my parlay. The other seven teams handled their business. Take teams on the money line. Sad teams where shit. The wages go up thousands. I had the Oakland A's over Boston. Oakland, they won. Had Arizona over the Braves. They won. I had Minnesota over Seattle. They won. I had the Cubs over Washington. They won. I had the White Sox to beat the Mets with Justin Verlander pitching. Fuck him, he old. The White Sox had shots. Them, you know, they scored ten runs yesterday. Now they only get one run. They lost. They killed my ticket. And uh, Kansas City Royals can't even beat the sad ass Detroit Tigers. They lose three to two. And the winnings was $9,584 or some shit. And for the last three or four days in a row, I've lost 
parlays about one game or two. But it wasn't for this much. Tuesday night, all I needed was, uh, uh, who was it? Some motherfucker let me down for $211. $5 bets. So I that one toe, yeah. I ain't even gave him a run and a half. Punk ass Tampa Bay. You gotta bet against motherfuckers when they're down. This shit ain't personal. This is business. Fuck the Braves. They've been getting their asses whipped. I've been betting against them. I bet with them all year pretty much, but I've seen that cold losing streak shit coming with Tampa Bay too. But I gave him a run and a half against Texas. They lost by two. It was two days ago. <laughs> Pirates, fuck the Pirates. Yeah, I gave them motherfuckers three, three and a half runs the other day. They lose 11 nothing. I just keep them completely off of my slip. Fuck them. I, I ride with the Texas Rangers, the Arizona Diamondbacks. Texas is starting to play me, and I, and I ride with the defending world champs, the Houston Astros. I told motherfuckers that that Tampa Bay shit was smoking mirrors at the beginning of the season. They couldn't keep up that pace. Oh, they got the best team. No, they don't. In American League, the Texas Rangers have the best team to me. They have a lineup that can hit, and they play good defense. They got solid starting pitching, and they wouldn't got a Rawlers Chapman for their setup man. <clears throat> They're ready to make a serious run for the American League pennant. But I never cut out the Houston Astros because they got Dusty Baker at the ham. Great manager. It's like Bruce Bochy for Texas. Great managers. Terry Francona, Cleveland Guardians. Great managers. These are managers that have championship pedigree. That Derek Shelton shit for the Pirates, he's an idiot. The motherfucker that coached the Mets, Buck Showalter, been managing for years. I don't know why he keep getting a job. He's an idiot. The motherfucker for the Boston Red Sox, Joey Core, idiot. You know, the motherfuckers panic. Dave Roberts for the Dodgers, he's okay. He's not a great manager. He just keep great talent around him. He should have won way more war series than they done, than they did, excuse me. Yeah, I'm just analyzing what I go through on a daily basis. And that's my job, the bet baseball. I might get between two to five five dollar slips a day. I'm placing a bet every day for the rest of my life. I wouldn't give a fuck what season it was. I just started this shit about six months ago when baseball season started. I never bet on football, but I'm going to get them too. I was betting on the NBA, I won a few times on that shit. But I'm going to get them for that uh, 9000 and something. For $5. It's coming. It's inevitable. If I can hit one of them tickets once a year, it's worth it. Place the bets in that sports machine, you can only go up to 10,000. Anything over 10,000 wages, you got to go to the window. So I try to, my fantasy ticket every day. What's up, Ronnie? I try to get up close to 10,000 as I can. You know, that means you got to take a, a bunch of underdogs. Oh, well, anybody can win on any day.
I got two tickets for later on today. I went down there about 11.30. All the games wasn't posted, but I don't want to all the games. I think I got eight, eight game parlay or whatever. It is what it is. You know, this Jitney shit ain't paying the bills. Shit, the 3rd of July, I won $1,100. Oh, yeah. It could happen. And I was a nine-teamer. Nine I get my money up, then I can cut down on the amount of games. I can bet four games, and it might be 4,300. I might have to put up 50 on one bet. I don't have it like that. Mm. That 1100 was gone before I left the casino. I didn't give it back to them. Shit needed to be paid, man. Got to live. Do the best I can. I'll never work for another devil or ungrateful motherfucker again in my life. <coughs> I wouldn't give a fuck. I'm disabled. I'm going to be struggling forever. And it ain't like I'm hit the power bar now. I have to make do with what I'm dealt. Fuck the cards. I suffer the deck. <clears throat> In my favor, live my life the way I want to live it. I can stay out there all night and I can sleep and get, God willing, wake me up whenever the fuck I want to get up. Run into no motherfucker's job. Fuck y'all. You know, ain't nothing wrong with working. I've worked all my life pretty much. That's why I got an income. It's called 40 work credits, you ignorant bastards. You have to get them, accumulate them in a lifetime to be to get Social Security. You motherfuckers don't know that, huh? Oh, I get 62. I'm getting, no, you're not. You're not getting Social Security. You play crazy and hope you can get disability. You're lucky to get $500 a month. Mm. I try to explain that to people. For a long time, I've been at 40 work credits, they said, 16 years ago. Some motherfuckers try to work to their 70. What kind of stupid are you? Uh, you work to your fucking 62. You're, you're old. You know, I'm 60. What the fuck am I do? Can't enjoy nothing. You're, you're old and tired and broken down. Now you're retired. Oh, yeah, I get my social security. You can't even push the goddamn button on a fishing rod to cast. Cause you got arthritis and shit, you know. Let alone run around and play with your grandkids and shit like that. You motherfuckers need to get out of that shit at an early age. Start working immediately. As soon as you get close to grown, start building up your work credits and keep up on them. Yes. Closer you get to them 40, then you can cut down on your hours at your jobs. So my last job, I worked four hours a night. UPS. Oh, shit. That was 2019. I don't have to work no more. You know, I sit out here and run my mouth into a motherfucking camera and a microphone. Drink my coffee. Right young lady come 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 past, you know. Y'all know what it is. I got needs. My girl died. I'm not in a sex having mood. 
took my dad me three years to even go on a date after my wife died. She died in 2013. I didn't get in another relationship until like 2016. It's mental, man, you know. You be with someone for a long time and that would be all you know. But you sucker ass motherfucker don't know nothing about commitment. You don't get your way, you're running, get a dick from another motherfucker. Or, or pussy from another motherfucker. That's weak to me. So you want to commit to a motherfucker, then honor that. If you're single, God bless you. You know, do what you do. Fuck everybody. Just be careful. If you're married to some woman, or some woman's married to your sorry ass, and you cheating on her, but you going home telling her you love her. You're a piece of shit to me. She cheating on you. She's a piece of shit. You know? Everybody don't cheat. Y'all got that twisted. This new generation, y'all don't know nothing about commitment and love. Real love. Love is when you stick by each other's side, no matter what. A motherfucker on drugs and you're not, and you know they're on drugs from day one. But you go into it thinking you're going to change a motherfucker? It don't work like that. You have a motherfucker's back. And a motherfucker sees something, there's a different way, there's something different. They might gradually change on their own. That's what you pray for. You know, because we all are fucked up. I wouldn't give a fuck what you're doing. You're, I'm fucked up. And I am totally sober. For, what, 19 years. Don't mean shit. I'm a human being. There's a lot of other motherfuckers that look at me on a daily basis and they're still waiting for my collapse. And I've never done nothing to them. That's fucked up. Rumor had it, oh, yeah, he, he getting high again. You know, and then the bitch that told me this, you don't even know me. You know me for the, off and on for a few years. Bitch, you wasn't never around me when I was drinking or nothing. That was 19 years ago. I'm just saying, people are fucked up, man. I don't have to explain myself to no motherfucking junkie. Because you motherfuckers choose to get high, so now I'm, I'm getting high. Huh? Yeah, okay. We're not the same. Getting high is not an option in my life. No blunts, none of that shit. And I can probably legally get a marijuana card. But I don't want to smoke weed. I don't want to smoke crack. I don't want to use dope. I don't want to drink alcohol. But, but that's me. That's my choice. What you folks choose to do is your business. I will not speak on another motherfucker's business. I sit out here in the daytime and this place be jumping. These clown ass motherfuckers. Everybody that walk past. Ooh, look at that. That bitch ugly as hell. That bitch fat as hell. And I'm looking at these stupid motherfucking niggas. Like motherfuckers, you're one of the ugliest motherfuckers I've ever seen in my life. It's always an ugly motherfucker trying to call somebody else ugly. So I, can, I can imagine what your goddamn parents look like. They created some shit like this. You know. I just look at them, man. I get up and walk across the street and sit on my car. Because they be irking me. There ain't no ugly people. You might be ugly on the inside for the face and, 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 and the, the figure and all that. 
Every motherfucker on this planet is attractive to somebody. Believe that. I've seen people that weigh 450 pounds and get eight kids. You know, so, you know, everyone's attractive to somebody else, man. I ain't never look. I will never look at no woman or no no motherfucker and say that bitch is. Look at that fat bitch or that, that she ugly. She's not ugly. At one point in time of her life, she probably had the perfect figure. And then she hooked up with one of you sorry ass niggas, and y'all just stressed her out, and then she just started eating all the time and gave up on herself. That don't make her ugly. That makes her human, you sorry motherfuckers. You know, beauty and the beast. Y'all remember that? Yeah. He had that fat ass woman. And he looked hideous. Yeah. That's how he treated her, man. That's how she treated him. Some of y'all wouldn't understand it. He must got an ugly bitch or something. That's what y'all thinking, you know. <laughs> she, my woman was beautiful, man. Inside and out. <sighs> my wife is beautiful. Inside and out. I've dated white women, brown women, interracial. You know, half and half women. Yes. If you're around a person long enough, they'll show you exactly who they are. Fuck what they say. It's just the, the little shit. Will have me cut a motherfucker off quick as Comcast. I used to mess with this lady out in Manesson, PA. She was pretty beautiful, a year older than me. Took her out to eat one day, Chinese buffet or whatever. Great service, professional, courteous, polite. Come time to pay the bill, I think I gave the lady a $10 bill for a tip. And this sorry motherfucker I'm with, why you give her that much? Who you trying to impress? That was the end of that. She didn't know it, though. This is how this woman make her living. Professional service. She was courteous. She was polite. She made sure we had fresh drinks, whatever. And you're a year older than me. And, and that's the best you had. I just paid your phone bill. I gave you money so they... <laughs> Insurance, car insurance didn't lapse. You ungrateful ass motherfucker. Who am I trying to impress? I'm with you. This woman is at work. You ain't have to give her that much. That was it. Went back to her house. Um, Fuck the shit out of this motherfucker. With rage. I brutalized her. Drove my ass back to Pittsburgh that Sunday afternoon. Blocked her. I was with this motherfucker for about a year. You selfish motherfucker. Now she's on Facebook. Trying to throw shots at me, blocked. You know, no. I don't get down like that. Now, if the woman was uh, rude and angry, 
and didn't cater to us and kept catering to that crowd over there, then I probably wouldn't have gave her anything. You know, but that was some sad shit. It only takes a little shit. As we get older, you'll figure it out. If you live to get old enough, you'll figure out that you don't have to tolerate nobody's shit. You know, bitch, you ain't my wife. You know, I'm, I'm treating you like a fucking queen, and you worried about how much I gave some motherfucker for a tip. But you got anything you want it. <laughs> that's selfish. That's selfish to me. Life's hard enough, you know. It don't cost nothing to be kind. <laughs> What'd you say? I hit her? I can't find my... I'd be willing to give you five So what that got to do with me? Why would I have a hitter, bro? Well, I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm sorry, brother. I need to... Uh, <laughs> Come I'm on. sorry, brother. Wow. <laughs> I need to get me, buddy. Yes, sir. Wow. Fucking sad shit there, buddy. This motherfucker 70. Got the audacity to ask me, do I have a flashlight first? No, I don't have a flashlight in here. Then he asked me, do I have a hitter? A hitter, people. A cr that's a crack pipe. He just cut himself off. Alright, give him cigarettes and shit. He he just cut himself off. You know I don't drink, you know I don't get high of nothing. He, he lost his. I oh, you got you got one, I'll give you five dollars for it. That's a perfect example of what I've been saying. Motherfuckers <laughs> don't give a fuck. It's with the, can you do for them, man? Damn. I didn't see that one coming, though. I thought he was going to ask me for a cigarette. Do I have a, a hitter? <laughs> oh, wow. Even when I got high, I never used a hitter. I never smoked a crack pipe. <laughs> you know, but wow. In my life, right? <laughs> and he he older than me. I'm 60. That motherfucker about 70, 71 years old. Homeless than a motherfucker living up on a roof. Motherfucker down and owned a pizza shop or something. Bought this sorry motherfucker a tent or some shit and set it up on the roof of the establishment. Used to you know used to live with his daughter. She got tired of his ass and he had to get away from her. I know his daughter. She told me. You know, I know his daughter pretty much our life. And I used to get in the air and I asked her how your dad doing and oh fuck him. I had to put him out. All he wanted to do is get high, shoot dope, and nod around the grandbabies. I was like, you ain't gotta say no more. You know, motherfuckers hang themselves. That little re remark he made, do I ever hit her? I, I don't fuck with him no more. He gets the silent treatment from now on. Mm -hmm. He lost his. Ain't that a bitch? I hear those walk down around the corner where they stand at the bus stop. I'm quite sure somebody got a crack pipe for you. As long as you got something for them. That's his business, you know, but he, he came to me with an insult. No, he would have apologized. And, uh, 
That shit never came out your mouth. You, you could ask me, is there any stores open that might sell glass? That would have been more appropriate. Because that corner store sells char, hitters, all that shit, but they close at uh, midnight. Shit, I don't blame them. Might as well get, all, get that money. Man, I'm just out of here enjoying my life. It's not real hot. Ain't no money out here. Even if you're a drug dealer, ain't no money out here. It depends on how you look at it. Them twos and fews add up. But these sorry motherfuckers, uh, nah. Get loud because motherfuckers say, could they get something for $9? Motherfucker, I ain't got heard it earlier today. I ain't got nothing for no motherfucking $9. You know, get loud as hell. Like, you ignorant bastard. Like, when the motherfucker got to 20 and all that, they buying three and four at a time. It's all good, huh? That's why I don't have a problem with a motherfucker robbing these punk motherfuckers. <laughs> you know? Yes. The disrespect. <laughs> I didn't do it. When we was running around these streets, I didn't play the disrespect. Yeah, you know, motherfucker, we drinking and partying and some outsider knowing more our lives, but nobody fuck with you in this crowd. You wanna hang around, how to make conversation and nitpick. No drug done, you know. Back in the day. You know, motherfucker, oh yeah. yeah fuck y'all. I'm 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 sick of you crackhead motherfuckers anyway. Motherfuckers owe me money and this and that. Nobody in that crowd we owe him money and that. No, we ignoring him, you know. We just keep calling every motherfucker crackheads. And then I had enough, you know. And I'm like, you know what, Wesley, you're right. Because I have a history of cracking motherfuckers' heads. And I punched the shit out of him. He staggered and he fell. Did he try to get up and he fell again? <laughs> yes. I don't play the disrespect. I never did. You know, we got our own beer. We got a. I got my. What I had my van, music jumping. You know, no motherfucker trying to hear what you're saying. Cause certain people owe you money. We don't know you no motherfucking money. Every motherfucker I was hanging with, we had jobs at that point <laughs> of our lives, you know? But you want to come around us with that negative, tough guy shit. I punched the shit out that motherfucker. Two hits. I hit him, and he hit the ground. And then he tried to get up, and he fell again. Like Tyson hit this motherfucker. You know, then he get up. What happened? What happened? And he went to open up his trunk, and about two different motherfuckers poured out pistols. Oh, no, we're not going there. And he's like, no, nah, man, I'm going to offer him a beer. Motherfucker, we got beer. He go in that trunk to get something out of there to do bodily harm. Shit, my motherfucking partners pulled out their guns. Nowadays, nobody got each other's backs. If we hang with you all day and, and all the money run out and they need another bag of dope or a hit, now they want to jump on you and beat you out of your last $4. I see this shit every day, man. If we run around together all day laughing and keying and hustling and partying and then reality set in now. Fucking fighting cause the motherfucker drank the last of the damn liquor or the, you know. Come on, man. Stop. You know? Like I say, life is hard enough for me to be out here impaired. You know? I have to be aware of my surroundings at all times. Clear mind. I'm the most dangerous motherfucker out here on these streets. 
because I'm sober. I know exactly what I'm doing. That's why I don't react to everything like I used to when I was drinking and shit. I think about the consequences. I used to think about them back then, but I didn't give a fuck. If they couldn't have me when I was crazy, I can't let them put me in prison now. So I chill. These motherfuckers will try you. Motherfucker walk past and try to con you out of some shit. That's about me sitting here. If you a jitney and this and that and ain't got a penny. Yeah. No, I mean, you know, take the little little treatment that another one on the 25th, you know, next week. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. You got to slow it down. Huh? It's time for you to slow it down, brother. Shit, ain't a soul out here. Huh? I said, ain't a soul out here. Yeah. Dumbass tomato going, ask me, do I got a, a hitter in here? What? <laughs> I just looked at him like, really? So he, he just hung himself with me. You know? I ain't got nothing. I, yeah, you know. He could have he walked around the corner and, and, and seen somebody probably can help him with that. Yeah, right, If you got one, I'll give you five all. Oh, come on, man. He just kept on just insulting me more and more. Mm. He just don't know. I ain't fucking with him no more. Mm. Mm. He's only saying that's wrong. <laughs> 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 You know what I mean? It's crazy. That that was the sad part. He he know I don't drink or nothing. He lost his. What that got to do with me? Get some aluminum for you or some shit. Mm-hmm. You know. I took that personal man. That's yeah. that was yeah. fucked up. Right. Then he then he apologized. Mm-hmm. It was too late. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can I see your lighter, bro? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, bro. Tone, tone, tone. This is a changer and a flashlight. Mm-hmm. I don't want this shit. I've been in tase myself. I don't know how to work. Here. Here you go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That crazy, you know? <laughs> yeah, she black. <laughs> she said, black. She said, black. She said, black. Yeah. He should have brought his ass out here before Aiden's clothes. They sell that type shit. Uh-huh. Said he should have brought his ass up here before Aiden's clothes. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, but I'm about to get a buff here, folks. I hope all's good in y'all life. Don't, don't let everything get to y'all, you know. It's my message. 
So these motherfuckers, the devil, he, he will send them straight to you when you least expect it. Because I would never expect it. That old guy to ask me, do I have a crack pipe? But he just cut himself off. Giving him food, bought him soda pops, and giving him money and cigarettes. Them days is over, man. Then he was persistent with it. Oh, you got one, then I'll give you five dollars for it. Wow. You ain't never known me to get high. I ain't even known you that long. Got to know you within the last five years of me being out back out here. But you know I don't get out. He knows that. But it's real humid. I'm so glad I changed the AC compressor in this car. See be kicking, and I run it. And I got this four-cylinder engine. It's great on gas, and I run that motherfucker because it was hot today. Got to make sure you got some gas in your shit. That coffee, you know. I drink coffee any time of the day. It don't affect me like it used to. It's a stimulant, though. It's so different. There's to be people everywhere, you know. It's a ghost town. You see my camera ever facing the street. You don't even see cars driving up and down. Take my butt back in the house. Try, try again later. I'm kind of disappointed, man. I was close to that money. Even a hundred and eleven dollar ticket. All I needed was Kansas City. It was a four, four, four team parlay. Fucking Arizona won, and I had four teams. All I needed was Kansas City to beat fucking Detroit, and they lost three to two. That was $111 I could have used. Put right, right in my savings account. Wasn't meant to be. I had multiple tickets. So, you know, I usually try to get at least four. Increase my odds of losing. I'm paying for hey, paper. Dude. Yeah. I got a little thirteen dollars in food stamps. Would you add me up? What I'm gonna do with this food stamps? Why ain't nothing open? Yeah, it's seven eleven. Cars drive by with the booming system. Yeah, I talk a lot of shit, but, uh, free ride, you know. I don't want your food stamps, man. Eight dollar trip, just give me five dollars, whatever, you know. I ain't got nothing else to do. Go home. You know, I ain't got my girl no more, so. I'm sitting in the damn house. I don't watch TV too much. That was my partner, man. I miss her every second. But I got to go on, you know. God willing, God send me another queen, you know. And I'm not looking for no motherfucker. I wasn't looking for her. 
was meant for us to hook up. Shit, seven and a half years with that crazy girl. These motherfuckers out here, they ain't. I don't do no wuss, man. I need a woman that got my back, man. And she was it. Get, get out of pocket. She kicked their motherfucking ass, you know. Check them. If I fuck with her, I'd check them, you know. These motherfuckers will set you up. Suck the shit out your dick and fuck you real good. And you sleep. And they done let some motherfucking niggas in your house to, to rob you, you know. Yeah. We're not the same. Trust no motherfucker out here. I trusted May Lee. I can go to work and come home and ain't gotta worry about the TVs and all the shit missing or nothing. You know? Now she gone. And I'm tired of starting over. find somebody to have sex with. When I come, you got to go. <laughs> Hopefully you got your own place where I can come see you sometimes as well. Dang, it's going to take a special woman for me to commit. I ain't saying I ain't going to never relationship again, but that's that's not on the top of my list right now in life. I got to find myself again. You know, you get used to somebody and then all of a sudden they're, they're gone. And they're not coming back. And they like, we split up. She died. It's a hurt piece, man. motherfuckers that knew us both and you had to respect uh, come past the church to pay their respects see me on the streets and you know, give me condolences or nothing but it's cool Cause some people did walk over to the church and see her some people did come to the house to see me and I love y'all for that. You know, there's a bunch of motherfuckers that <clears throat> I have nothing no more behind that. You know, that was my sis. That was my girl. I don't want to hear that bullshit. The church she was at is in walking distance of where we hang out every day. Less than a fucking half a mile away. Y'all can kiss my ass. Then they wonder why I look at them and treat them differently. You know? Yes. She was a convenience to you, sorry motherfuckers. She had something to drive, you know? One time I see her, she had one of you sorry motherfuckers in the car with her. Bring, bringing you motherfuckers home. Because y'all ain't eight in two days or been out, and, you know, let y'all rest and wish your asses, and I didn't have a problem with it. But some of them people she used to do that for came to the funeral home to see her, though, you know. That, that hurt me. Motherfuckers, uh, they weren't my friends. They were people that she knew. She ran around with that fake shit. Oh, yeah. I'm going to stay in touch with you, see how you're doing. If you need somebody to talk to, you know, all that fake shit. I want to hear that bullshit, man. But you wasn't even at the motherfucker. You didn't come see her motherfucking body. You know, you didn't even see me. I want to hear that fake shit. I'll 
fuck out. You know, motherfucker, she be dead. Yeah. That was my best friend. Uh, shit, I hate to see her beat her for your enemy then. <laughs> fuck you. They know what I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck. I ain't never been one to sugarcoat shit. I ain't biting my tongue for no more. Y'all can kiss my fucking ass. You know. Cause that shit comes back around. And you'll be lucky to get a sorry boss from me. <sighs> ain't, ain't nobody obligated to uh, go to nobody's funeral service or nothing. Because I'm not. You know, I had family members that didn't even reach out to me. See if I'm okay. But I'm okay with that too. Cause it can happen to any one of us. Motherfucker's wife could die, the husband, the, the boyfriend, the girlfriend, you know. Yeah. I am not obligated to go see you. I don't forget. If you was there for me in my one of my darkest hours, I'm gonna be there for you. I wouldn't give a fuck who you was. Like when my mother died. Motherfuckers, family members didn't even come to her service. Excuses. Uh, I had to work. <laughs> but you motherfuckers would call off and take off work to go to a pirate game or a football game. I see you motherfuckers boasting and bragging on Facebook Live. <laughs> and my mama was good to every one of you motherfuckers. <laughs> I, I don't forget, man. You know, oh, so I'm so on Barbara died, you know. Uh, I couldn't get off work. Oh, but you can get off work to go to that motherfucking Stiller game, though. <laughs> you know, kiss my ass. <laughs> you know what I mean, motherfucker? I don't got nothing else to do with you. There's a few of them. And they first cousins and shit like that. Kiss my ass. You know? I ain't saying no names. Y'all know who y'all are. Be true to the game. Ain't nobody obligated to nobody. I understand that and I respect that. But uh, I'm going to have that same motherfucking energy. When it's your motherfucking turn to be on the front line, in the front row. I'm going to have that same energy. I'm going to be sitting right here on the block or in the house. I'm not going to see nobody at no wake and none of that. Cause I don't have to. I'm not a child no more. They can't force me to go to no motherfucker's funeral. You know? I walked in the church to see people that I was just associates. Because they had a better understanding of death and hurt than you motherfuckers do. Y'all take this shit for granted. You know? Fucking mama die or sister or somebody die. I go see the body out of respect for that certain individual. Most of the time, it ain't about the individual in the coffin. It's about who's connected to that person and how they treated me and how they treat me. You know, motherfucker was there. For me, I look up and I see certain people like, whoa, that's, you know, I don't forget. I appreciate that. Motherfuckers went in my inbox, Facebook Messenger, and gave me their condolences. And 
That meant everything to me. You didn't have to show up. You didn't have to come to my house. Just reaching out to me any type of way was good enough for me. You know. And I love y'all. And the ones that didn't, I love y'all as well. I'm just going to live my life. And do what I can do. To continue to make it legally. My children are grown, but they're still my responsibility. I wasn't gonna fuck with none of you motherfuckers thing. You motherfuckers, some of you ignorant motherfuckers, your child get 18, they're grown, get out, you stupid, sorry motherfuckers. A motherfucker ain't ready for this shithole we call life. Just put them out, huh? <laughs> you grown, motherfucker, getting out of here. Not a motherfucker living out here in a tent or doing God knows what to God knows who to survive. Because the parents have turned their backs on them. That's what you're doing. Shit, my babies is back home where they belong. That's where they should be at. They've been out here for the last 10 years. Written houses and apartments, and shit gets overwhelming. They ain't even 30 yet. And they're back, because they didn't leave on no bad terms. They helped me immensely. I walk in that door, and I see my daughters and my son at work at night, and they home, and they laughing, and they're safe, and they're secure. My life is complete. That's how I should look at me Lee. My girl. She'd be in a in the shower and I can hear her talking to herself and thanking God that she's home and she's loved. Yes. My babies, they uh be paranoid. Like I'ma put them out. No, put put you out for what? I didn't put you out the first time. Y'all get Went out on your own and y'all made it out there for damn near 10 years. But y'all gonna get the fuck back out there. You know, I'm not gonna force you out there. I'm content, they ain't in my way. It's a little crowded in there, two bedrooms, you know, they got the basement. My son got his room, I got my motherfucking room. I get me a freak. <laughs> we going up in my room. You know, it's private. I'll turn up the volume on the TV. Y'all won't hear me moaning and groaning and gobbling like a turkey. And if y'all did, oh fucking well. I got to get mine eventually. This motherfucker, every motherfucker got a, a story. Put your hoodie on and hands in your pocket like you're cold. And here it comes to, uh, is you a jetney or could I suck your dick? Here, here it comes. I'm broke. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, you your main husband? I'm Louise. Who are you? Hmm? Lovey. Lovey? Mm hmm. I don't know you. I've seen you around. Yeah, I was just gone for a while. Huh? I was just gone. There ain't no deal with hands on there. Where you going? Um. You know Nisi? They run the corner over there. Nisi? Yeah, the skinny old lady. Where she live at? Where the bridge trip is at. Somewhere around here. 
Chateau. Chateau? Yeah. Just want to see. Uh, ah. Chateau at? You know, it's the outside over there. Huh? Chateau's down Manchester. Yeah. You know what Alpine is? 